Man, bro. Whoa. <laughs> Is this place creepy or what? It's so creepy. It's that true. Stayed there for about 20 minutes now. So following on from the life vlogs, a little trip around that creepy place in Staten Island. How about this place? It's a ruined old priory in Bewley. And um, it's creepy as hell. <laughs> Especially with all the crows. I mean, crows are scavengers. They eat dead meat. They won't eat my bones. In 1506, William Thompson travelled by boat and on foot from Bewley to the mother house of the Val de Chur in France. It took him 40 days. The monk was then berated by Prior General James Courtois for not sending shipments of his beloved Scottish salmon. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Do you want to cleanse yourself at the holy water stoop? I don't think so. I think this is actually creepy and beautiful. Definitely the crows... Um, Massively uh, max out the creep factor. The tomb of Sir Kenneth Mackenzie of Kintail. He died in 1491. Oh, yeah. I wonder what's left of him in there. There's one laid out in the back. I never looked at one at the Oh dear. That is creepy. Yeah. Can you imagine <laughs> that night? So it's day two of our little Highland holiday in Scotland. Today we're going to go to. A place called Rogie Falls, which is a really nice waterfall. And then after that, we go to a place called Brodie's Country Fair, which is an amazing shop that sells all kinds of like the Highland produce and kind of homewares and all sorts of cool stuff like that. And then we're going to go out for dinner at a place called Drumna Drocket, which is in Loch Ness, or by Loch Ness rather. I love the Highlands, really nice place. Look at this view out of our window. Pretty nice. It's very pretty here, isn't it? It's Rogie Falls, although we're not actually at the falls yet, we're walking through the woods prior to getting to the falls um, and it's a really beautiful place I absolutely them. love yeah, we can hear them where are you going Ramble? <laughs> I think growing up in Norfolk which is in case you didn't know really flat has given me a real affinity for enjoying hilly places so here we are <laughs> In the undergrowth. <laughs> Scotland is one of the most wet places in the world. And so, even the trees have beards. <laughs> was that a good David Attenborough impression? The best. taken in the view. Look how pretty that is. It's so beautiful. I didn't see that. <laughs> Does this bridge move a bit? It does a little. <laughs> does it move a bit? Does this bridge move a little bit? What an amazing place. The water's so dark as well. But it's quite clear. You can see through it where it's flowing over the rocks. Oi! What are you doing down there? It's 
so cool. This is known as the Lovers Rock. You've made that up? Yes, I have. <laughs> Look how high up that bridge is, actually. It is, it's got quite a lot higher than it feels when you're on it. I love how still the water is here compared to like that. Mm. I like how it has a head on it as well over there. Mm. Well, it's not Scotland without rain, is it? <laughs> it's only very light rain. And it's definitely now raining. It is. But in all seriousness, I like it. Just wish I had brought my coat. <laughs> it's a wholly different landscape in the rain. <laughs> it looks angry. It looks incredible. It looks like we're strolling into the scenery from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sing anymore, I might get copyright. <laughs> Look at that. That's Look just not that money, money, is it? That's like Monopoly Brig money. Brig Odoon. No, it's real money. It's legal tender. <laughs> and we bought a, a cow picture, which is down here, which won't fit in won't fit in my case, so we're going to have to post it home to ourselves. <laughs> Oops. Uh, now we're off to a pub called the Fiddlers, which is a whiskey pub. But also it does lots of good food, but whiskey. And good beer, I think, as well. So, yeah. Get drunk! <laughs>